inside our earth. The third part of the chapter. In the last part, we done the types of the rocks that is the igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rock. I hope that is clear. If not clear, let us again revise that through a flowchart. Now, rock types. If you see rock types, then obviously there are three types of rocks igneous rocks. It is made up of a Latin word that is. Ignis. As we see that there are two types of igneous rocks are found. The first one is the fusive, that is just because of the volcanic eruption. Uh, if we take the example, then uh, basalt, etc., type of rock are example of it. Intrusive is the second type of igneous rocks. Plutonic, not because of volcanic eruption, but before it cools down inside the earth called the plutonic process. For example, we can take the granite. Next one is the sedimentary rocks and this sedimentary is also a made up of a Latin word which is sedimentum means layers. The third type of the rock is the metamorphic rock. This metamorphic rocks just in these rocks are the primary rocks as we know then comes sedimentary rocks and just because of the high temperature and pressure this these sedimentary rocks change in change their forms and become uh, metamorphic rocks. This metamorphic word is a Greek word taken from metamorphose meaning the same. Uh, let us take the example limestone change its form limestone which is a sedimentary rock change its form because of temperature and uh, pressure and become a marble so marble is an example of this now we can again divide this into three parts how they are formed on the, that basis the first is the formed mechanical mechanically so because of the mechanical changes it forms the examples are like shell, sandstone, etc. Now the next is the next formed because of the chemical changes on it. Chemically, the example is Egyptian is an example of it, and the third is the formed. Organically, like it's changed, the origin is changed, like the chalk, dolomite, etc. We write it in Hindi. If we are talking about the third part, we are doing the first part. We have done rock types. We have done a revise. We have done the flow charts. First part, as you can see, igneous rocks are the primary rocks. The Latin word igneous is taken from two types of rocks. Extrusive and intrusive. Extrusive is the volcanic eruption that is made from lava. And intrusive is the magma that is made from lava. In the other types of rocks, the other types of rocks are sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are sediments that are made from one another. This is from that. The Latin word is made from sedimentum. Metamorphic rock is a Greek word. Metamorphose is made from the same. For example, the limestone is made from the marble. ये अलग तरह से फॉर्म होते हैं मैकेनिकली चेंज आ जाना उसके अंदर उससे बना जैसे शेल या सैंड स्टोन जो होते हैं वो सैंड का मैकेनिकल उसके मैकेनिकल चेंज आ जाता है उसके अंदर और रॉक में चेंज हो जाता है उसके अंदर तो केमिकल्स में चेंज आ जाना केमिकल बदल जाना वो है जिप्सम जैसे या कोई और चीज उसमें केमिकल चेंजेस आ जाते हैं और उससे चेंज होता है फॉर्म ऑर्गेनिकली जो हाई टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर के कारण उसके ऑर्गेनिकली वो चेंज हो जाता है जैसे कि डोलामाइट एंड चौक एक्सेट्रा जो है इसके अब हम लोग जो है नेक्स्ट पार्ट करते हैं इसका तो वो नेक्स्ट पार्ट है हमारा रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स में जो सबसे पहले हम लोगों को करना है वो है रॉक साइकिल इसको हम लोग बहुत इजी तरीके से समझ सकते हैं कि पूरा पूरा सिस्टम साइकिल की तरह चलता है यहाँ पर देखा हमने कि मैग्मा है सबसे पहले मैग्मा जो होता है वो 
इग्निस रॉक बनता है या तो वो इंट्रेसिवली अंदर ही इग्निस रॉक में बदल जाता है या फिर वो बाहर आकर इग्निस रॉक एक्सट्रेसिव इग्निस रॉक्स बनता है अब यही रेनफॉल हो एयर के कारण इरोजन एक्टिविटीज जो दूसरे वेदर में चेंजेस आने के कारण जो वेदरिंग प्रोसेस हो उसके कारण उसके कारण या फिर इरोजन के कारण जो ट्रांसपोर्टेशन होता है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन के कारण दूसरी जगह पर जाके वो डिपोजिट हो जाती है जगह तो वहां होकर उसका लिथिफिकेशन यानी कि एक के ऊपर एक चढ़ने के कारण सेडिमेंट्स एक के ऊपर चढ़ जाते हैं इससे जो होता है वो सेडिमेंट्स भी रॉक्स में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है जैसे कि यहाँ सेडिमेंट्री रॉक बन गई अब यही सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स और नीचे आ जाते हैं टेम्परेचर और बढ़ जाने के कारण और ज्यादा प्रेशर के कारण वो अपना फॉर्म चेंज कर लेते हैं एंड दिस इज हाउ दिस इज कॉल्ड मेटामोफिस या फिर उसी को हम लोग कहते हैं मेटामोफिक रॉक्स ये मेटामोफिक रॉक्स और ज्यादा अंदर जाने पर गर्मी और प्रेशर बढ़ जाने से और हीट और ज्यादा बढ़ने से वापस ये पिघल जाते हैं और वापस से ये मैगबा बन जाते हैं तो ये प्रोसेस चलता रहता है दिस इज दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड द रॉक साइकिल प्रोसेस यूजेस ऑफ रॉक्स एंड मिनरल्स रॉक्स और वी कैन से मिन रॉक्स आर मेड अप ऑफ वी फाउंड अ लॉट ऑफ मिनरल्स different types of minerals because these rocks are made up of different types of minerals and because they contain different different physical and chemical properties these all are very precious resources for human beings like examples are like coal natural gas petroleum etc and uh, they are also used not only as a fossil fuels but also in industries which is very helpful for economy like different types of metals iron gold silver etc etc and in medicine also this is how these are used for different different purposes now if we come to the next part and this next part known as the rock distribution in india to understand where these are rocks are found the best thing is to see all this in the map of india one by one let us do all this the first one is the where maximum are found minerals in india like granite basically granites are found chota nagpur region somewhere it is also found in karnataka and a belt goes to tamil nadu with andhra pradesh region it is a deccan trap called known as a deccan trap with maharashtra also the next stone found major stone is the sandstone obviously this stone is also found in the Vindhyachal region, the Satpura region, and the rest part of the peninsula India, especially here, the Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Damodar region, and all the marbles which are found in Rajasthan. So this is how we see few of the rocks which are found in these regions. The rocks have a great economic value. the cotton soil which is found here in this region is very important uh, like the black soil world's most fertile soil that is the alluvial soil etc are found in india rocks are the sources of precious and useful metals like iron this whole belt is a iron belt bauxite copper lead zinc gold found in igneous rocks non metallic minerals include sulfur which is used for medicinal purpose etc and the energy source resources like coal and petroleum these all are important sources petroleum which is found in this region the khamba kambe valley regions mumbai high and the kg basin region of india plus in rajasthan part it is found so this is how we complete our chapter inside our arc in three parts any kind of problems doubts you have you can comment to me i'll definitely reply you that's all in this chapter thank you